I want to talk first of all how incredible the practical effects are with this, with the animatronics. What m first made you decide to take on this project, and then what were like the absolutely we have to keep this right in line with what the game was? Uh, well, I was really really excited to uh, come on board this project, both because of of the fan base that I knew was hungry for this game, but also because I thought the world was so ripe for a genre movie and and so fun, which is not always the combination that you that you get stepping into a horror film. But this really had so many unique elements. And I think for the fan base, we knew we really needed to get it right for them. And for a wider audience, we wanted it to be accessible to them as well. And we were really lucky to have Scott Cawthon, who created the game and the lore and the franchise uh, in our corner. and you know, helping us make this film and making sure we were getting it right for the fans. What I love is the tone balance between the humor and, and the more terrifying moments. Even in some parts, during like a, a murder scene, you're laughing along with maybe an animatronic has an eye twitch at a certain point that just looks out out of place. How did you strike that balance? It's a great question. You know, I think every, uh, Every scene was its own alchemy of things, but like you said, sometimes it was just the subtle subtlety of a little animatronic movement that would make all the difference. And I think we were just trying to incorporate as much personality uh, into every scare. Uh, and, and by personality, I'm really referring to the animatronics and the uniqueness that is Five Nights at Freddy's and making sure that we cultivated the humor alongside the scares. With the games, they don't explain a lot. It's a lot of kind of you're, you're exploring as you're going and you get snippets of story. How did yeah. it feel actually being able to bring in a fully fleshed out story and, and how you would continue it? To me, as a filmmaker, that's always the thing I'm looking for is, you know, characters that have depth and nuance and great story arcs. And so we were just trying to, you know, of course, make that for this film as well, plus all of the amazing lore and franchise elements that, you know, we had to bring in as well. And I think that these characters are are phenomenal and interesting, and I would want to keep keep seeing what next adventures uh, they end up going through if we were if we were lucky enough to make some some more of these films. Final question. Yeah. If you were to be an animatronic character yourself, oh. what animal would it be and would you have a name? Oh my gosh, that is a great question. Um, I'm gonna go with koala and I might need a little bit more time to think of the name. <laughs> that's the name itself. <laughs> koala, I think. I think mm. that's right. Walla. Walla okay, cool. for short. <laughs> It was a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure Thank meeting you, so much. you too. <laughs>